everyone my name is Anu and in this video I'm going to talk about LLD version of system design so my previous video I talked about high level design but in this video I'm going to focus on the important topics that you have to focus on for low level design so without further ado let's dive right in and before we move on to the video please subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with your friends and family and i'm so thankful that you liked the previous video and that has motivated me to continue making this video as well so i look forward to all the support that you are giving to me and let's talk about low level design so system design for those of you who don't know it's there are two very important concepts in system design one is the high level design and the other is the low level design so the first thing that you need to focus on when it comes to system design is focusing on object oriented programming and object oriented programming is a very core fundamental and you need to focus on the four pillars of object oriented programming which is encapsulation polymorphism abstraction and inheritance so these are the four topics that you need to focus on when it comes to object oriented programming and there are tons of resources out there but you can focus on geeks for geeks and geek for geeks is a good enough resource that is something personally that i used as well and it worked very well for me so that is the one resource that i focused on for learning object oriented programming and you can use that as well so just focus on these four pillars of object oriented programming which is encapsulation polymorphism abstraction and inheritance this will be the foundation of your LLD now let's move on to what is the next thing that you need to focus on so a natural transition from object oriented programming is going to be UML so UML is unified modeling language so UML diagrams there are different types such as use case diagram class diagram sequence diagram and as well as activity diagram so you need to focus on these four important things and this is going to be your object oriented design so just focus on these four types of use case diagrams when it comes to low level design and particularly object oriented design now the third thing that you need to focus on is going to be your object oriented design principles here you're going to focus on the solid principles so solid principles s stands for single responsibility principle o stands for open closed principle l stands for liskov substitution principle i stands for interface segregation principle and d stands for dependency inversion principle these are the five things that you need to focus on when it comes to object oriented design principles and that is going to be the crux of object oriented design so with this we come to the end of object oriented design so till now the three things that we have talked about is object oriented programming object oriented design which is going to be your uml and now we are going to talk we talked about object oriented design principle focus on is going to be your design patterns so design patterns are going to be it's going to be either creational design patterns it's going to be structural design patterns or it's going to be behavioral design patterns as well so these are the things that you need to focus on when it comes to low level design so honestly low level design is not that complicated once you get into the habit of solving real life design problems so it could be something as similar as design parking lot or design an elevator system or design a movie booking system a hotel booking system so the real knowledge that you're going to gain is only going to be through designing and actually practicing otherwise these four things are all that you need to focus on so we talked about object oriented programming we talked about uml the different kinds of diagrams that we have in object oriented design the object oriented design principles and the last thing we talked about is design patterns so these are the four things that you need to focus on for lld the resources here are always going to be as I said, there are free resources out there. So Geeks for Geeks is a good resource that you can use that I used as well. And this is enough for low level design and start pro solving some problems like design parking lot or design a meeting scheduler or design a vending machine. So these are some things that you need to focus on for low level design. And if you have come till here, do like this video and share it with your friends and i hope that this was helpful for you low level design is really not that complicated but i saw that many people were messaging me about what is in system design like why why haven't you covered ld so i just wanted to put out this information as well so we talked about hld in my previous video this video is for your ld and the important topics and literally the four things that you need to focus on for ld so i hope this helps you and i will see you in my next video until then bye bye